date. And I just went to the nurse today for my first like blood work and everything and they confirmed the pregnancy and they said that I am eight weeks pregnant. So basically at the appointment they just um, made me pee in a cup, they drew my blood, lots and lots of blood to do all the different testing that they do to make sure I think just your health and different levels of things. Um, so we did all of that. She asked me the la the date of my last period, which was November 21st, and according to that, I am eight weeks pregnant, and that puts my due date at August 28th. And I am still anxious to see my actual doctor, yeah. which will be next week, because although she says that I'm eight weeks pregnant, I feel like you don't actually know until you maybe have an ultrasound. I don't know, because is it really always gonna be the exact week that you had your last period like that seems like unlikely like i feel like i could have gotten pregnant a little bit after having my period i don't know <sighs> Ugh, shortness of breath that's one thing i get <laughs> um so i am really really anxious to see my actual doctor but i did want to go i do want to go over some of the symptoms that i'm already having at just eight weeks i'll show you guys my bump and kind of stuff like that so symptoms backache that was my first symptom even on new year's eve i had a really bad backache but i didn't think of it being anything to do with pregnancy i just thought it was a backache but even like right now it's kind of aching and i remember my first pregnancy my back was aching especially even postpartum um i had a lot of back aches so that's already starting up um, another thing, TMI, you guys, if you watched my first pregnancy videos, you know I don't keep anything from you. I tell you like it is. So if you're not pregnant and you don't care about all this pregnancy symptoms, this isn't the video for you because it's going to be TMI. So TMI, lots of discharge. In fact, like, I will, like, think that I'm, like, bleeding. Like, you know what? You get paranoid in the very beginning. So I feel like a lot of times I think that I'm like gushing blood or something and I freak out and run to the bathroom and then it's just like tons of clear discharge. Um, the next thing is tired. I have been extra tired lately and that I think that that's just because my body's working hard to make a sweet little baby. So I've been extra tired taking naps when I can. Um, when he goes down for a nap, if I have time, I will also go down for a nap. Another thing, bloating and possibly showing i'm definitely very bloated right now i can feel it so in the mornings i'm like pretty flat stomach but then about mid-afternoon all of a sudden i have like an actual baby bump and i know that that's just probably bloat but i probably am showing a little bit earlier too because of it being my second and also i did show very early on with cal as well um next Thing I want to talk about is breastfeeding. Yes, I am still breastfeeding him once in the morning. Sometimes we skip a day, but usually I'd say it's every morning um, just because he wakes up at like the crack of dawn and that's what he wants. I'll bring him into the bed with me and he just like tugs at my shirt. So if I say no, he like starts crying and like throws a big fit. So honestly, it's just easier for me to lift up my shirt and nurse him <laughs> than it is to try to like wean him at this point. So I'm not sure how much longer we're going to do it because I want to see what my doctor has to say about it. I know sometimes they want you to quit breastfeeding because they want you to save as many like nutrients as you can for your um, unborn baby. So I'll find out what he wants me to do. Um, working out. I've definitely still been working out just the same. I haven't told my trainers yet that I'm pregnant, which I'll probably tell them this week. So they can really help me too because I know both of the ah. trainers that I have have both been pregnant and they've both worked out through their entire pregnancy. So I'm excited for them to like help me and motivate me. And I'm still going to be working out with my friend Sherry all the time. So she's definitely going to help motivate me. She's like, I'm not going to let you not work out because you're pregnant. So she's totally got my back. Um, I just want to be really healthy this pregnancy. And I don't want to gain a ton of weight again. And I want to keep staying fit. Say most of it is just mental. Like you feel like, oh, I can't do this because I'm pregnant. But really you can. So I'm going to try to get out of my own head and just keep pushing and keep working out just as much as I did before. Unless, of course, I feel like it's 
wrong or uncomfortable or something, but I am gonna try to continue to push through my workouts. The next thing, um, shortness of breath is one symptom that I've been having and that is pretty much started right yeah. away and it was something that yeah. I didn't have right before yeah, I got pregnant. So I know yeah. it's definitely a pregnancy yeah, symptom yeah, where yeah, yeah. even just like talking a lot, I kind of get shortness of breath. Going up and down the stairs, I get a little bit winded. Yeah, yeah. As far as morning sickness goes with Cal, I felt like I never really had like morning sickness because I never like woke up and puked. I never like felt nauseous getting out of bed. Um, but I do remember feeling queasy, especially around dinner time. I didn't want to cook, stuff like that. And I'm starting to feel that way again. Like tonight I'm making a chicken enchilada and I'm just like, does not sound appetizing at all. Um, I haven't been eating. I've been eating well, like lunchtime, no problem. Breakfast, kind of iffy. And then dinner seems to be the hardest meal for me. It's just like, I'm just kind of feeling queasy around dinner time. Um, I did end up getting the flu over the weekend, like the stomach flu, which was awful. I thought it was pregnancy and I was super excited thinking, Oh my gosh, I'm throwing up. That must mean it's a girl because I didn't do that with Cal and I was so excited. And then like four hours later, my mom started throwing up and then my dad. And so then I was like, okay, it's just a, just a virus. It's not actually pregnancy related. So that was actually really, really rough on all of us. Um, like just dry heaving and waking up every hour. Just, oh, it was terrible. So that really sucked and I also ended up losing two pounds because of that I couldn't keep anything down so um yeah that's about it as far as sickness and that's not really pregnancy related but I will say that I've had like sort of a like ongoing nausea the past since that flu and it's just been like just queasy but not like enough to like puke or go to, to the bathroom or anything just enough to where I'm just kind of like a sour stomach um, I did go ahead and get these Prego Pops. I wanted to get these last time and I never did. I got a different brand and I didn't like them. So these are actually plus. So they also have vitamin B6 in them. I might try one right now because I'm kind of feeling queasy. So that is the morning sickness deal. And then as far as weight goes, um, this pregnancy I started out at 125. And my first pregnancy, I started out at 134. So I was already ahead of the game this time, nine pounds lighter, which makes me feel really, really good. Um, and then I weighed myself at seven weeks and I was 126. And then this week I'm 124 because like I said, I did. it's been hard for me to keep some stuff down with that flu. And it's also been hard for me to eat so much lately. So I'm at 124 currently, but I'm still showing like I am 135 pounds but that's okay hopefully this isn't too distracting sorry um okay another thing i wanted to mention was a book i've been reading this is so distracting i'm so sorry um the book i actually read it my first pregnancy and it was so good i had to read it again this time mm. Mm. It is called Expecting Better. I'll put it down below. Um, it's so good, like, I just take this out, I can't talk. So the book I've been reading, or listening to, I guess, is called Expecting Better. And she goes into all the things that you would wanna know when you're pregnant. All those things you get paranoid about, and you Google, and you don't get a clear answer on. She talks about it all. Um, so she goes over a ton of things, um, one of the things that I was even, you know, talking about my last update about um, the whole like drinking when before you know you're pregnant. She kind of like eases your mind about that and talks about like some scientific research that goes along with that. So she, um, where was I? She talks about um, yes, yeah, so like drinking and early pregnancy and that like two week wait that people do and kind of like scientific research about that. Um, also um, drinking while pregnant which you know I'm not like an ad advocate for or anything like that but it is nice to know some statistics and research as well as um, all the foods that they say you can't eat while you're pregnant she goes into all of that um, so much stuff so I really like her approach 
to the to all of it. I like all of the research that she does. Um, my doctor for my first pregnancy was very laid back, which I loved. Um, he was like, you can eat lunch meat, you can eat um, blue cheese, all that kind of stuff. He was just like, don't eat anything in excess and just be careful. Don't buy stuff from like a gas station and eat it. I mean, just use your brain, right? Like eat like normal healthy food. So I feel like once you read that book, you're gonna feel so much better. She also talks about like miscarriage rates and um, rates of like birth defects, like just so many things that you get paranoid about. She goes into all the details with it and it really makes you feel a whole lot better and I just love that book. So definitely check out that book if you are pregnant because I think it's just so good. Um, and then I guess lastly, before I show my bump, I just got this, this is probably no fun at all. I got this bag from the hospital and I was just gonna see what was in it. Thought I would show it on here. What is this? Breast milk storage bottles, a tote, and a nutrition guide, and some formula. Okay. Oh, and then this is just like about the hospital and what to expect. A coupon for motherhood maternity. And then a catalog about a baby growing. And just more catalogs. Maybe some more coupons. No, these are just brochures. Okay, so nothing really fun. Nothing exciting. She's like, here's your gift bag, and I got kind of excited. It's not that fun. Oh well. That's okay. Um, let's look at my belly. Here's what I look like in my big sweater. Um, here's kind of the outline of my bump. You can obviously see it right now. Here's what I look like with just like my tank top. Again, definitely see that bump. And I'll show you guys the real deal. So there's kind of just normal. Obviously I can still like suck it in and look like I have abs, but if I'm standing like normal, yeah. it just looks like that. And from the front, my belly button is still like weird and stretched yeah. out and I still have lots of stretch marks. There it is from that side. So yeah, that is my belly at eight weeks pregnant, 124 pounds. Am I not giving you enough attention? <laughs> okay, well that's all for this pregnancy update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm excited to do this journey with you. I know a lot of you guys are also pregnant as well and are excited to watch these updates. I probably will do them every four weeks, so once a month. Um, I don't think I'm going to do them every week because I am vlogging a lot more now. My first pregnancy I didn't really vlog, so you'll hear so many updates while I'm vlogging. Like, I'm going to vlog the day that I go to the doctor next week. So you'll hear so many updates anyways that I didn't want to bore you with a sit down pregnancy video every single week. So the next video will be 12 weeks, which will be the end of my first trimester. So stay tuned for that. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and I will see you next